Welcome everybody. This is Bones. Uh, we are doing a another of our Let's uh, Play No Man's Sky series. Now, uh, I did do some refining and mining. You'll see I'm stuck with the same old bone ship. But I do have a surprise for you all. Bam! Pick this little puppy up here, the painkiller. It's a class C. Uh, we've done a few upgrades here. As I said, I'm keeping all the grindy stuff off. You can see I barely have money left at this point. Um, but no, we, we did. We did some grindy stuff. Basically did a few upgrades to myself. Um, nothing too great, but, you know, enough enough to get by. Um, now, if you remember this game before, you remember there's a lot of stuff you can do. Um, and because of that, I'm trying to... Well, I forgot about this. I'm basically trying to figure out the best way to mix in doing things like what we should do. Yes, that's it. Um, and what we are doing. Okay. All right. Play turn. That one's gonna go back. I will notice there. I guess so. I'll play with that later. First things first, let's go find my damn computer, shall we? Uh, now this base building thing here, I'm curious. Once we build a base, will it be able to come with us? I'm just gonna stick with something like this for a simple one. Um, basic components. There is this. De decoration, equipment. So we're gonna start first with uh, okay. So that's select the material. I would like my base to look old school wood, like everything else. It would be nice, you know. I picked my paint. Uh, so we're gonna select this wooden components. So first, we're going to need a floor, aren't we? So, let's go up. Okay, let's go up. We need components. Uh, let's go and make ourselves a floor somewhere, shall we? Oh, God. What is this shit? I don't know. So, boy, this just... Oh, no. Floor is good. Uh, I'd like it if I could actually go back over there. Cannot build and build position. Well, how do I decide what to... You tell me, son, what's the wrap position? It's, it's got to be near the space computer, apparently. Uh, there's no grass in it. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, so it removes that. I like that. I like that a lot. Now, I'll be honest. Well, in the words of Christopher Reeves, no, we're not doing a pistol for you. Go fits classless, and I do not feel like doing that. Uh, Mr. Reeves was a national treasure. As far as I'm concerned, I think he was a pretty cool dude, and I've heard nothing but amazing things about him, actually. And I'm not just saying that I was lucky enough to uh, know somebody who... Now, I don't know if the guy's being truthful or not, but he claims he met Christopher Reeves, and... Well, I do have my doubts about that. Um, now what? Server technology, subterranean devices. I like that. Underwater. Blueprint analyzer. Oh, shit, girl. I've wanted that since... I don't know. I wanted that. Um, now, what happens if I pick this? Okay, that's not removable. So, one thing's going to 
going to have to happen here. Uh, I need carbon. And I need carbon, like, now. Like, JG Wentworth needs some money. I need carbon. Hold on there. I forgot I had that. So you have installed a boat caster, so... If you want a small tip, I'm gonna tell you how we ended up farming money. It is by farming ingredients. Your average planet, don't sell them raw. Um, what you're gonna want to do, that I did anyway, and I think it's very useful, guys, is to take and, and I'm not kidding you here, do this, is to take and refine, refine, refine. Like chromatic metal, for example. If you look at the base chromatic metal value, it's insane uh, compared to the other one. Alright, so you want that shit. So get that. Right now we're basically doing enough to try and build a home and get the home going. And I walked around the planet a little. That's pretty much what I've done between the games. I've been dying to do more, but I don't want to do more um, without uh, having you all witness it. We had somebody who started a drop in my game last time, but apparently I was too newbie for him, so we left. Joke's on him, we were doing a let's play, but hey, if you don't want to hang with the cool kids like us, he ain't gotta hang with the cool kids like us, does he? Fuck him, right? So, fairy dust becomes pure ferrite, pure ferrite becomes the other thing. And I have lost my face. I know where you are already. Right. Where's my base, dude? Um, so, for a little money, you're gonna wanna start with copper. Start with the compounds, see? Start with the compounds. God, I'm an idiot. Uh, but yeah, start with the copper. Start with... <laughs> I like that I literally just said that twice. That's good, right? But no, seriously, start with the start with the copper man. Um, so you will want to do that, and I cannot tell you enough how how nice it will be to be able to do that. Um, we're gonna did I do a six by six? I usually like six by sixes to start. So we're going to place a wall there, you get a wall, you get a wall, and I did not do a 6x6, six six. I need two more floors there, guys. So, uh, you get a 6, and you get a 6, and you get a 6. Now we're going to go back, and I'm going to put my door here, and then we're going to Doodle this uh, back into the next of the year. So, carbon, need the carbon, baby. Now, somebody asked me, well, you know, is it hard to do a lot of mining for this stuff? I mean, look, there, there's what you really need. There was my money maker because that was great. The chromatic uh, metal, or chromatic metal was great. Um, paraffin, I don't really want right now just because, and I know I'm going to regret doing that, but you can even just get a little leftover chromatic metal. Um, but yeah, that stuff is worth money, so don't. Before you all think of throwing your stuff out, any of your stuff out, see what you can make out of it. I am telling you now, you would be pretty shocked. Um, I know I was, and that, so we went and did a little shopping with that. Now, the next time I am going to be working toward the millions is... A ship, but I don't. I want to leave the ship on camera because I want to show you all that this is no formal cheating. That I unpack sincere. So we're gonna do the ship on camera. 
with you all going ship shopping with me. I think that'd be more fun anyway, personally. I think so. So that's the way I'm gonna do it, I think, is to just do it that way. And that sign means this little motherfucker has been alerted to my presence, so we don't want him alerted to my presence, because he's a bitch. Uh, as I said before, they're fat out assholes. But I do want that sweet, sweet carbon. Since I'm trying to build a damn home. I named that Peter Bankman, and we love Peter Bankman. Uh, from Ghostbusters, I hope Bill Murray will be proud, and if not, then... Sorry, Bill, I'm a big fan anyway. And dude, I... My, is it me, or like, the 80s guys were so cool, man. You know, you had Indiana Jones, you got uh, Bill, you had all these great people that were like, you know, and nowadays what do you have is millennials running about shit. And, uh, I know I'm still going to get a lot of shit over saying that. I don't care. I really don't care. If you like or hate it, I don't care. The point is, uh, and you're going to hate hearing it, but people from my generation were just, frankly, I believe, and I still believe, tougher. And that's going to cause a lot of controversy, I know. But, uh, hey, guess what? It's mass. I really don't care. I stand by the idea that people of my generation were tougher. But, let's be honest, every old-timer says that about their generation. So I could be mistaken. And I probably am. I'm willing to admit that. So, alright, so we are, we're getting somewhere, guys. We're, uh, I suppose, cooking with some form of gas, gas-related material, so to speak, right? So, basic components. What else can I build there? Equipment. That's equipment. I can select, I can make farming, portable technology. Let's look at portable technology. We have a signal booster. This is a blueprint an analyzer. Uh, this is a base computer. A portable refiner. I already have a base computer. Sorry. Uh, I do want to learn more about what else I can make, though. So let's decoration here. Decorations, flags, and lights. We're going to need some lights somehow. So. See what we can do with that Velky. We call him Velky. I'm a dork. Uh, and the adornments. Now, this one here, I'm not going to lie, I think would be cool to have a flag set up somewhere, but I don't see anywhere I can put it right now. So we're not going to. Instead, we're going to do what most explorers do famously. We're going to carpet mine the shit out of everything in my area. Now, somewhere somebody is going to be very upset with me for saying that. Uh, and I'm not going to lie. Rightfully so. Let's be honest here, right? It's a dick move. It's a dick move. It's not a great joke. It's, it's a pretty shitty joke. Uh, even, even worse than a shitty joke is it's just a dick move to say. So, if they are upset with that, then, uh... Sorry, but also, kind of kiss my ass because... I'd say, let's play, guys. Come on. Um, now, you guys are in for some treats, because if you notice, we really... Yes, last week we slacked a little on our let's plays. I'm not going to lie, that's my fault. So, I'm sorry. Uh, but if you notice, we have came back hard, we have came back full force. One of the reasons we have done this is because we are determined to give you guys the most let's play value we can. I mean, I know you guys aren't paying money for this, but look, just because you're not paying money for this doesn't mean you still shouldn't get a better let's play. Demand more out of your let's plays. For example, if I have already played a game, I don't lie to y'all, I tell y'all flat out. Yeah, I played this. Yeah, this is a good game, but I played it. I tell you guys, and the reason I tell you guys is simple. Because I think it's bullshit. When I touch somebody doing fake reactions, and I know they play the game, um, and there are a few, I'm not going to say their names and out them. I'm not, because I'm not a dick like that. 
But I will say, there are a few of y'all out there that need to quit playing with people. Um, because I've seen you all do it, and you guys know, you guys know what you're guilty of, but I've seen some of y'all do this, where you have flat out, flat out done it. And you've been like, oh, I would never do that. And then I come to find out lies, you have done it. So, there are star bulbs around, and they're more common now. Cobalt, uh... Something's telling me to keep that, if only to sell. So yeah, we had, a, we had quite a time with wheeling and dealing and doing all that stuff. I'm not gonna lie, that part was pretty fun. Um, and I enjoyed it quite heavily, frankly. I did, I enjoyed myself a lot with that. So we're gonna be doing this. Just getting the base well set up. And Yahtzee. So we have those. Now next we are going to need a, uh, a roof of some sort. So that is carbon and ferrite dust. And then from there we will have our first real base. Yeah, I could probably stick the walls too high, but look, I'm assuming my guy is slightly short, so why not just uh, knock that shit off, think. Eh? One thing I'd like to do is build a, uh, we're going to build a blueprint analyzer first, because I personally have a, uh, hit F, so you want to hit F, and so you'll hit F again, and then you will decide. I need magnetized ferrite and uh, the other thing. Now, I have a portable refiner. So let's put baby down here and uh, figure out what we're doing because nobody puts uh, baby in a corner. Like, I don't care if it's funny or not. That's all I got, guys. Sorry. I do care. I do care. Don't make me cry. Do you really want to help me? Alright. And while we're at it, let's go and grab a tree or two's worth of... Surprise, motherfucker! We really, really need a lot of carbon for this. Like I'm killing whole rainforest here, and he's forcing me to like these dick. We need this to live. Meanwhile, I'm like... Dur, 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 dur. I feel horrible. Can you, can you imagine, like, the, the one thing that's literally destroying the planet by accident, not meaning to, just being like, <laughs> How are you today? And meanwhile, these things are like, what the fuck, dude? And you're like, oh, oh, my bad, my bad. So I've got some magnetized ferret. Now let's go put in normal ferret. And then we'll have more ferret to play with. This, uh, I shook my head because there's no way this joke is going to work, so I'm sorry. I'm overheating like crazy there. A maniac, maniac of the foe. I need to dance in like he's never danced before. I'd just like to give a little shout out there to my man Chris Farley. Thank you Chris Farley for all the amazing and great and wonderful uh, things you did do because uh, you cheered a lot of us up, me included. Um, I was never like a super chunky guy or anything, but I used to feel like nobody got me, so feeling like there was somebody else out there that was silly and not afraid to be silly was pretty damn cool, I'm not gonna lie to you. It, it, it really meant a lot to me as a kid. Um, again, not because I was necessarily chunky just because I liked what I did. 
Alright, so first of all, and uh, when you're the class clown and you like being the class clown, but no one else seems to like you being the class clown, uh, especially teachers, because you all know how that shit goes, right? Now, I have a wood theme here that we're going with, and I'm basically sticking with that theme for these. Um, I do really like all of these things. I think they're cool with me. But, whoa, well, well, there's a health station that would be really good. A hazard protection unit would be good too, wouldn't it, guys? Uh, save point I feel like is good. Base teleport module. is a must. It's a must. Gotta have that. I don't think they're kidding about the way of the income that I saw at all. But, uh, but, dude, I'm doing what I can do. So, while I'm at it, uh, what can I do about this? Can I. I can jump. So now we know the basics of the game, guys. Uh, we're not gonna quit there, though. I wanted to do a longer let's play. It's a little earlier in my day today, so we're going to do that, but still, I promise you, this is not the only let's play we were doing today. We have some other ones. Ah, uh, we can actually hide under here. I can't literally parked my ass under one small section. Let's see what else we can do, eh? Basic components. Equipment. So let's take a look at this. Arming. Permanent technology. Holy shit, this puppy's huge. So I could actually just put it right here. But I need iodinized Tobo. 50 of them. So, first things first. Let's worry about the rest of this. Second thing second. Let's double the size of the walls. Remember, I said I wasn't going to do that? Well, I was wrong, wasn't I? Um, so, first things first now. Yeah, we want to delete this. Sorry. Okay, so we, we can stack walls. That's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna say Todd Howard. It's amazing to me how much faster it is to do this in No Man's Sky than your It All Just Works game. Because it doesn't all just work, does it, Todd? Yeah, there's a little great shade thrown, and rightfully so, I feel. I was a giant fan of these scrolls. Um, I was a giant fan of the Fallouts, where I grew up with the original Fallout. But I was not a fan, guys, of what uh, happened with 4. I think 4 was alright, but the DLC was a mess. Creation Shop was not cool. It's cool to a degree for people that bust their ass to make, uh, look, nobody's saying they don't work hard. Everybody in the modding community, of course they want a free handout. Uh, the people who just want to play the mods want to get them all free. Yeah, of course that's a little, yeah, it's greedy. It is greedy. Of course it's greedy. We all know it's greedy. 
but it's also something that we want. So find a man, dude. It's that easy. Ambulatory. Ambulatory. How the fuck did I mess up the word ambulatory? Sweet Jesus. My brain today, baby. What's wrong with it? Now, one thing I want to do here is we're going to move this around. I would like it, and I don't know if it does this in the game, but if it doesn't, uh, devs, could you please try and make it do this when you can? I like the idea of all my technology being up there so I can grab it. Um, oh yeah, I did buy in the space thing. Your five, your first one, so that you all know, is only like five, five K, and it is a, um, Giant help. Giant help, man. You have like that, that space suit type thing like that. Um, but yeah, it's only like 5k for your first one, so. Even just mine a few minerals, uh, go do some stuff like that, you'll end up with decent money in no time. At least get money, and I tell everybody this when they play No Man's Sky, your multi-tool is like a Jedi's lightsaber. You will rely on that shit whether you want to or not, so make it work. Make it good. Because you're going to need it, man. You don't, you don't even realize how much shit you're going to do with that thing, but you're going to need it. You will want it. You're going to be like, oh no, I don't need it, but yeah, we have bullshit. You're going to want it. I'm telling you that from now But no, seriously. We're fucking around. You're gonna want that. Um, and the reason I say that is because you will find very quickly that you run out of that ship before you know it. So, you're gonna want that. So, we're gonna need some more cobalt, by the way. Guys, in order to make the teleporter. But we are setting up for the teleporter now. I wonder what happens if I try to make like a little... Maybe I can make like a ledge here, maybe? Could I make a ledge here, guys? I'm gonna try to make a... Uh, actually, we're just gonna try to make a floor here and see what happens. Hey, hey, you can make a, like a min mini wall there, is that true? No? I'm gonna try it. I saw it. And it did, it made a little mini wall. Now we're going to make a little floor. No, I cannot do that. But uh, that sucks. It would be better if I can make the floor. Okay, so I can't do that. Let us go back with just making walls, shall we? So, one reason that I'm doing this is because I don't really know what else uh, I should be doing in this game right now. The other reason is because I want the practice of learning how to build all this uh, outright. And three, if I can save and pack up the whole basin ticket, which is what I'm really hoping they've done, I swear to you all, that wasn't me. You guys see what I did there. I'm a card, I tell ya. Speaking of card, uh... I just went and picked up a new deck of them, and we have some great... things we're gonna do for you guys soon on the Let's Play board game front. Uh, I actually got a few of you asking when I'm doing another one of those, so the answer is soon. Soon we're going to. And I know you're like, oh shit, but no, really, we are doing another one soon, I can promise you. Um, it's been something we have talked about for quite a while and want to get done. So there will be another one done soon. So, do look forward to that.
Um, and I will prove it in a minute here. I don't want to prove it yet in the, in the middle of the mess, but give me a second here and I'll hold it out. There are a lot of, there are a line of board games. They're actually not even board games now. They're these tiny little portable games, and they're pretty damn cool looking, I think. And uh, I like what they've done with them. I do. We are, while we were finding stuff, going to go do a little exploring. And I'll actually show you one of these tiny little things. It's like the size of a sticky gum, guys. But, that's the back. Uh, and you can find them right now at your local bookstore or game store. So, we have four of these puppies that we will be doing Let's Plays of. This one is basically Liar's Dice, so that you all know. This one is basically Othello in a graveyard. This one is rock, paper, scissors, a boxing, and much more fun. I don't really know what to call this one, but surprisingly for this little game, it's up to two to four players. You can see the cool colors. So, quite a few more Let's Play board games coming up. We also want to make good on our promise to you all to do a few other ones that we've been meaning to do, which are, you know, of course, the... Uh, let's play a board game, uh, Ultra Tiny Epic Kingdoms, and, uh, Epic Quest. Uh, there are a few others, too, that we still need to get to. We just been... And I, again, I apologize, guys, it's really my fault that we haven't gotten more of these. There is no other excuse, frankly. There is not. I'm not gonna BS you all and claim there's some great excuse or some horrible event happened in my life if it didn't because frankly that's disingenuous to you and not fair you know you are our audience and we appreciate you guys I think it's great and frankly it's fun for me I think it's very cool that you all would want to waste your day watching my dumbass so thank you for watching my dumbass um, we're not really making money we don't got YouTube money coming in we're, we're not we're not we're not there yet with people, you know, we don't, uh... <laughs> I'm not PewDiePie here, you know, I'm not, uh... I'm not any one of these dudes who's, who's raking it in from this. But, I will, uh, I will definitely say that, uh, for what it is, I am still thoroughly enjoying what I am doing, and I feel very honored that I get to be able to do this stuff, because, look, uh, you want some old man advice, I'll give you a little old man advice. I feel like old man advice is good for you all once in a while. Even though I'm not really an old old man, but I'm probably not as young as I used to be, so why not? We'll, we'll, we'll call it old man advice anyway, eh? And that is to just follow Bill and Ted's example, be decent to people, don't be an asshole. And, uh, learn to do more with your life uh, with loving. Look at how gorgeous that is. You have to apologize while I screenshot that. It just blew my mind. Um, boy, did they turn this game around, didn't they, guys? I think they turned this game around. Somebody asked me my opinion of the situation, and I think it's as follows. They didn't. They lied. They lied. Sean Murray lied over it. Yes. But I think he thought that his world was big enough where naively as a, as a young programmer, no one was going to be able to catch them as quick as they did. Underestimated the power and tenacity of the internet to see what they want to see, which is in this case, they wanted proof that what they were promised was going to happen. And when it didn't happen, they rightfully got pissed off. Which, of course, you're gonna... You got lied to. Uh, and he was like, oh shit. Which, rightfully so. He should have said, oh shit. But to his credit, he apologized. Admitted he screwed up. And now we're in the stage... Oh god, this is gonna suck here. This landing is... That's a rough landing. Uh, and now we're to the stage where he is trying to make up for it. Now, can they redeem themselves? I think, uh, they're trying. 
I think they have a ways to go still. Um, I'll tell you my biggest bitches that I want to see on a planet. Not my biggest bitches, because that sounds like I'm a pimp or something, but the things that I think they should be doing, frankly. Things I would like to see them do, anyway, that I think they could do, and I think they should. I think they have to do it, if they're going to get the respect to gamers back. I think they're going to want... Frankly, I think they're going to want to stick with doing things. I should address this, by the way, since this damn thing is falling. If you are not noticing what is happening here, this thing is aware that I am destroying the environment. And much like an annoying park ranger is trying to get on my ass. I shouldn't say like an annoying park ranger because technically it's not in itself a bad thing. We're about to kick something's ass and it's gonna be this thing. Yahtzee, baby. Why can't I get you? Stop moving. Oh shit, these are armor plating and I have no ammo. But it's all mining, baby, it's all mining. We're gonna mine a whole film. Or I'll die. I don't know. Try to go boom. So let's just save our game right here. Moments before my death. And now let's run. I will say one thing, it certainly made Sentinels a, Sentinels a hell of a lot tougher than they used to be, because they didn't used to be this tough. Shit. And they found me. Yeah, I've noticed I'm detected. But at least it bought me enough time to reload my damn gun. If you try, motherfuckers. Yahtzee. Now the red up there is your wanted level. You're going to want to take notice of that. This time we're going to get the fuck out of here. We got what we came here. Just running, dude. We're just getting away from them. This is getting to be too much. They're too many. Uh, Sentinels used to not be this tough. And I'm gonna say to Sean Murray, What the fuck, man? What happened? One of these things become the end all be all bad motherfuckers of the universe. They used to not be this tough. So basically, what we're trying to do here. something different. I'm actually gonna dig it down deeper. Deeper into the game map. Can I use this?
never surrender. Like Churchill. Deep in the earth, right there. All right, so you can build and unbuild things as well. I could call my ship in, but right now I'm basically instead going through my weapons. Now, as I said, that red is your wanted level. Did you play? Uh, we're gonna read this. All right, so, uh, guide, guide, guide. Let's read a few guide things here. Based instructions. Good, 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 good. I like the guides as well here. That they've done more with them. like to be able to do and if it's not something in here uh, dev team if you do see it please consider this because part of our technology wow I love that already all right So not all sentinels now are aggressive as well. But apparently enough of them are where it's kind of a bad idea. I also gotta remember uh okay. I'm going back to remind me so we can get some more combat supplies. And uh See that shit, please. I've got enough projectile ammo for now, I think. A bunch of condensed caravan down here. I'm not gonna lie, guys, it's a little spooky dooky seeing this other thing now. Sodium deposits, there's a trade terminal. It's a paraffin deposit. Combat supplies. I want to get my ass to this trade terminal. And one reason is, I want to see what else Puppet can get. That one's like, you killed my brother. Oh god, I wasn't even on. Aw, oh, shit. I know what that is. That, guys, is not a friendly sentinel at all. Uh, this is basically like a sentinel's muscle. At least usually. We're just gonna ignore it. Act like we're all cool. Like we're good old friends. And let it see that I'm trying not to be a dick. And hopefully it'll be alright. I don't even know how long I've been playing this. I'm gonna test this real quick. A little, a little. A little time we spent playing on this. Um. Alright, let me, uh. Well, we're at it, guys, because I have either ADD, I'm just crazy. I will show you, and if you all have not picked these up, I would 
really advise you to do so soon. There are only 5,000 of these made, period. These are the, these are actually gold stamped. Uh, you can probably see it here. These are the bicycle collectors cards right there. Now uh, they are gold stamped when I get them I'll show you all. I, I'm a sucker for stuff like this. And I'm a sucker for board games. I have tons of board games that I haven't showed you yet. Uh, we're even thinking of doing a Let's Play Rises one night. Oh god, what do I want here? Let's buy stuff. What was I looking for, guys? I came out here looking for something with a P on it, I think. That didn't sound good, did it? Oh well, not a P at all. What am I talking about? Okay, so I need... All. All of you. Shit. I don't got enough for all of you. I need as much of you as I have money for. Now that I know however that you're a sub Terranian thing, I get more of you. Look at this. That's new. So you can find drop by coordinates. Pretty cool. Now, I will show you what I'm talking about about the open market here, right? So this time, we're going to go to sell some stuff. Watch what I do here, folks. I feel like something has changed in this, too, because supply and demand has changed. Uh, sell. Access to inventory. So let's switch. Sodium nitrate, dehydrogen. Uh, I could sell a technology module, but I don't know why it won't let me. I don't know what that is for. Guess they don't want them. Uh, I'm a little annoyed because before chromatic metal was worth more than this, but I think just because I've sold so many of it, it's no longer worth it anymore. But I did get my units for it. I got my units for that. We're gonna go up. This dehydrogen is not hard to find anywhere. And that alone is worth 51,000 pitcha 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 blah blah blah. But I'm not selling that shit because it was a pain in the ass to get the money for. And now you see what I'm saying about the buying and selling of things in this game. A little more involved than it used to be. Um, you see it on the pl Great Plains of Catnip. Matter of fact, I'll tell you what we're going to do here. Discoveries. As long as no one else named this one. I'm going to you out there. Uh, Brianna AFP. My nemesis, apparently. Basically, got most of the planets, but seems to have missed this one, so... I named this after the band Styx. Um... I feel like Toto, who has gave us such great hits as Africa, should also have theirs. Although I'm a little annoyed, because now I feel like... Now they're hipsters who never liked Africa, the song, and now they're like, Oh, I love it! And I'm like, you don't even know what it's about. Oh, I do. I love Africa. The song is so pretty. And I'm like, shut up, please. Weezer does it in a song, and all of a sudden everybody's a fucking fan of Africa. I liked it myself, because I was, a uh, for a long time, a drummer. Not a great drummer, but I did Dejambe drumming. I did different kinds of drumming. And it is a very beautiful song that is not an easy play. It's a very hard song to be able to play. Um, and any of you who drum know I'm not bullshitting with that. It is not an easy song at all to play. You really... Dude, you gotta know your stuff with that. You know, you gotta know what you're doing. Uh, you most certainly need to be good at timing your, with your rhythm. Uh, there's a lot to it, man. There's a lot to it. 
I see some buried technology deposits, or modules rather, so we're going to go grab the modules before we head back to the base. And the reason is because I made this shit for a reason, I'd rather use it. Uh, you have seen me this time getting a big brawl with those other things. We haven't yet put a roof on our place. Let's fix our light support, shall we? I do think it, it's a lot of people get a little intimidated about doing uh, the whole like click key thing, but honestly, you don't. Once you get used to it, you're going to love it, and it's it's pretty damn useful. I like it quite a bit. I think it is very very needed. Um. I'm glad they added it into the game, frankly. Right? It's one of one of the things that I really enjoy that they added in and I feel like it should have always been in there. But again, there's a lot I think we could argue that should have always been in there. And <laughs> multiplayer. Um not that multiplayer and let's be honest here. One thing that's annoying me is that now a lot of companies are throwing multiplayer into fix every game. I'm going to give you my prediction that's not going to be a popular one, and I don't give a shit. I'm going to go ahead and throw it out there that No Man's Sky, if it keeps doing this well, is going to actually outsell the next Fallout game, about 76. And I'll tell you why. I started playing Fallout during Fallout 1, man. A buddy of mine let me borrow his copy, then I bought it out. The discs off them outright for part one and two and played them repeatedly. Fell in love with the game. And I've been a fan since. Three, by the time uh, I still can't get it to work right, I don't know why it crashes. Yes, I'm on Windows 10 before you get sass. Yes, I know it's a my fault because I'm on Windows 10. Hootie, 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 we don't care, you're on Windows 10. Well, fuck off, because that's all I had. Um, but no, kidding aside, guys, uh, I would like to play it someday. So if any of you have some tips for getting that to work, uh, and don't just tell me to follow the Steam Guide, I've done that, it still won't work for me, I still crash, I don't know why. Sucks, trust me. Because that is the only Fallout I have not beaten in the series. I've even played the, like, Tactics, which... I'm usually not an RTS guy, so that one did nothing for me, that didn't wow me, that didn't... Uh, gussy up my view of, of what they were doing, and then when Bethesda got it, a lot of people were nervous with Grace, some people liked it, some people hated it, because they're going to bitch, they're always going to bitch. If you don't like Fallout and want the bird's eye view, check that shit out, eh? Take a little screenshot to celebrate that, too. Um, my first base in this game, now why wouldn't you make it look metal you ask yourself? I'm metal enough, Peaches. I don't need to make everything metal. Huh? See what I did there, guys? See what I... Well, then I know it's not great. Forgive me. Forgive me. You don't really gotta forgive me. I don't give a shit if you ever don't for this thing. Um... You are new. Sodium nitrate. So, you're going I have one of these puppies here, so I'll just tap it here for now. I also have one of these here, so let's tap that down for now. I have a theory about this, and I want to be sure if you're right. Um, I like, though, that these work like coins, so that I can pick what I want out of there. Uh, what do you guys think I should do? The health recharge or the hazard recharge?
Dude, I don't know. Item received. Item received. Oh, I didn't know there was a communication station. Oh, shit. We'll come back and do that. I'll probably do these off-world. Just to let you know. And like I said, I am very sincere that I try to do all this stuff. The boom thingy. I don't. I'm not gonna lie, the planet looks slightly depressing from that, doesn't it? I don't know. Usually abandoned buildings have some good stuff in them before we play around in that nonsense. Let's go and fix up these walls, eh? Alright, dude. And so this thing has nothing else to do for me, so we'll pick it up. This puppy here, though, that's my bread and butter for now. My little Belky. Let me know if you guys know what that's from, I'm curious. And yes, this is a much longer one than normal. Warning. Archives interrupted. Emergency broadcast. Traveler finds their wings. They fly toward us as they must. You will find us when the time is right. The base computer interrupted its own archive retrieval program to relay an emergency message with the broadcast. Sounds like no distress call I've ever heard. Perhaps the message is right. Perhaps it is time to fly to return to space and seek answers to this mystery. Uh, perhaps you can kiss my ass, because it's not time yet. I'm not just going to build a base and then just leave it. Okay, for one thing, I'm having trouble picking that up and I'm not a fan of that. So, one thing I am going to put outside the slow monkey is a, uh, equipment. Are you kidding me? Even a save point now is a... Yeah, I can make that. I can make that. I'm not going to do that with that, though. And I'll tell you why. Honestly, it's a straight for me. It's a little easier to do something else. What have I done for me? Is this all literally just so I can learn this? Because if so, that's uh, kind of shitty. So what we will probably do then, guys, is we will probably get down there. We will probably. I really don't want to upload my base. I'm a little pissed because I don't know what happened with this thing, but now I can't pick it up. I suspect it's a bug. i tell you what we're going to do. Before we do much else, we're going to invest anything else in this. Let us, uh, let us go back on the ship, go back to the space station, 
Now I've gone to the space station once, I suppose maybe at this point I get up there early. Um, I would like to be able to find... Yahtzee. Now the space station landing in this, I've always liked. Um, yes, if you want realism, realism, you go to Elite. But to me, this is like a good mix of fantasy, sci-fi, you know what I mean? I'm going to abandon my base. I will probably pick it up. Let's take a look and see what the running rate for ships are when we come out on my lands. I'm not worried right now, but eventually I need a better ship. Though, uh, I've heard somewhere you're better off not buying them, but building them. And you can get a better starting ship earlier on. But I... Again, I love how colorful these little dudes are. Hey, yeah, baby. Might just suddenly get murdered by all of them. What if I'm brainwashing them with this code? What if they're all like. They look much more turtle not turtle like now. I said that in the last one, but I like that. I feel like that is He knows. Let's just take a look at the running around. It's on the same planet. What do I do with the rest of the ship? Do I take it with me? Do I not? I don't know. I think I'm spending a lot of time on this planet. That's for sure. I stood up the fighter with some decent Capability. You'll see some new technology stuff down there. Like I said, guys, I spent a lot of time doing some of this stuff. Uh, the phase beam I'm not even putting on here. I feel like it's a waste of time. Like somebody once said, you can... What did he say? You can paint a bunch of shit, but at the end of the day, it's still shit. So... Um, I do feel like they did a much better job this time around with just having, basically having things the way they need them to be. Alright, so this is an Aurarchus. Tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna go do this distress signal first, pop off planet, and come back around decide what to do about phase one. Are we going to keep phase one? I would like to. I would like to. Now this game got a little like existential weird during the Atlas update. I don't know. Oh my god. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Shit, the singing is... Oh, the ship being insured, baby. Don't go killing us. This is clearly a crashed freighter. Which, by the way, I'm told from now on you can, like, get a fleet of ships and put them on freighters. It needs the freighter to jump systems, so that's valuable. 
Uh, but we don't have greater money yet. We're not on the FU money thing. Right now, we're on the... Uh, I'm still saving up for the dollar menu at Taco Bell in this game. What do you think of that, Joe Taco Bell? The anomaly comes for the stars. Take flight. The schematic for a hyperdrive is attached to the end. Take the blueprint. Call the blueprint for the computer. Basically, somebody hooked me up and wanted me to find this. That chromatic metal is easy to make now that I know that I don't have to spend a shitload of money on it. I know a player currency. I don't need a guy to make the money right now, but we'll read it anyway. Read every guide you can. There is no such thing as bad knowledge. Just know not to do stupid things. Finding signals, that's good. Now, I've learned how to do some of this stuff. One thing that's new here is the refinery thing, which I, I don't mind, actually. It's alright. There's a lot of stuff that I know how to do. Just a lot of stuff I haven't done yet. Um, I'm kind of at a loss as for... You know what I'm looking for, right? I'm looking for a cobalt deposit. The alien artifact is what I'm probably going to take though, because... The alien artifact helps you learn words, and I'd rather know that. But I'm also looking for... Ah, uh, I'm back to the copy deposit. Let's go here first and save the game. It's probably the longest let's play I've done of this. And like I said, even doing these, I do some stuff off here. And I know you aren't thrilled with that, but guys, understand if I did not, you wouldn't sleep. These videos would be so long. They'd be hours and hours and hours long. So by just taking care of the light work and leaving you out to enjoy the better stuff, Please be happy with that, because, uh, look, basically don't bitch, man. I'm doing what I can for you. Then we're gonna go around the other side, pack up my base, and go to this other planet. I'd like to find a better one for my home base anyway. I don't really feel like having a home base on what I feel is a shitty planet. It's not that it's not a great planet, but a certain person has basically took claim of this planet, and I will not give them the pleasure of making all the fun discoveries. That is what I want to do. Um, anyways, let's get back to my earlier conversation, if we may, please. Please. Uh, sorry, I keep fucking with that guy. I don't know why I find them so funny, I just do. Um, here's my big situation with this, guys. I feel like... Yeah, I feel like uh, the, the thing about 
somebody like Mr. whatever you want to call it, Mr. Luggies, uh, is that he has a fake voice. Two, let's discuss. about 76 things. It is PvE and PvP combined. And they're telling us, oh, don't worry, don't worry, we're gonna stop Grapers. Yeah. Yeah. Clearly, you've never dealt with Grapers with that stuff, because I can tell you now, you ain't stopping shit. Reapers don't give a damn what you do. Reapers are gonna grief because that's what they do in the first place. It's their, it's their joy. Literally, it's what gives them pleasure. You understand me? It's what they do. You're not gonna get away from that just by going. Oh no, no! I'm sure this will be good. We don't gotta worry. No, 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 no. Sorry, guys. We got a, we got a, a rig, a rogue cricket. Climbing around me. Um, I will show you those playing cards when I get them. I actually have a bunch of decks. Uh, you guys are. Uh, you guys would you like to see them in a video if we do like on our, our next Let's Play board game? You guys like to see our my bicycle collection? Uh, I actually lost one of the most gorgeous decks of cards I've ever had in my to the point where it almost made me weep. Man, it was beautiful. I feel like that's a dead man on campus thing right there. Hi, little guy. Okay, so I need to feed creatures. Of course I do. I need to feed them my precious things. How many creatures? Eight creatures. There are creatures everywhere, so this should be a attack problem. I am, however, going to finish looking around this area. Beautiful area, man. Um. Yeah. I'll be honest as well. I don't really know what the hell I'm doing here. The problem that I have now. Sorry to keep getting distracted, guys. Let's have the straight talk about this. And I hate to do it in a video for another game, but I feel like it must be said and must be discussed. This is a game that can improve by Let's Play because they're doing it the right way. What I think they're doing wrong with about so many sixes, they're taking away the single player. That's fine for other games, but single player is what makes this game, uh, the, the series of Fallout games, work. You can't take that away from them. If you take that away from them, you take away the very essence of what makes them. Oh, that little thing is kind of cute, isn't it? A good game. And that is to outright. You know, to outright do things. Uh, like in this one, you can use your friend, you can go out there, and there's lots of other things you can do that I think will make more sense. The problem is, you take a game like that versus a game like Fallout that has always been a singular experience, where you are the star of a show, you get to decide who gets to enjoy things, you get to decide how you want to handle things. You are literally the Grim Reaper for some people you think are shitty. To take that powerful building... That powerful building, that powerful thing and feeling... And strip it from players is what you do when you make it a Malfioni. Not to mention, the Griefers are gonna love it. Of course they're gonna love it. They're assholes. The assholes are going to love it, because they're assholes. So congratulations Bethesda, I'm making a great game for assholes and griefers. But people like me, who have 
diligently been a giant fan of your work, will not be dropping for the free order. Uh, I'm going to sit back and wait for the flood of bugs that plague every Bethesda game, like roaches, and even wait. Hey, let's do this right here. Like red roaches. Am I right, guys? All right. Um. God, oh, that was horrible. What, what am I even doing here? What am I even doing? What am I doing? What quests am I doing? Let's log. Look at this. Uh, this is an easy one. All I gotta do is speak to me, so that's not too bad, is it? Um, now I'm gonna say this. I could be wrong, and it could end up that Bethesda learns to find ways to use this right. Lots of people have shouted, multiplayer, 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 and Bethesda's listening. But the problem is, I feel like this comes in the wake of a, a multiplayer obsessive gaming society. And we've now done this to ourselves. Yes, I do think that a game like No Man's Sky benefits from this sort of thing. The reason I think it benefits is because they're using it for exploration, sharing discoveries, almost astronaut type things that, that you would really want to share with people. Stuff that you would be like, holy shit dude, look at that weird creature, look at this cool lake, look at this. Then you're able to chill out and do a silly dance with your friends while discovering some new alien species and taking turns naming it and arguing over which one of them is going to name it, which one of you sucks ass and all this other good stuff that's just friends being friends, right? now sending this thing to Huffing Sweet Potato much to my daughter's uh... I think she thought it was quite hilarious but how am I going to sit there and pretend that I think that it is a good idea to invoke a one of the biggest franchises ever, ever, in gaming with one of the bigger AAA companies that they have somehow lost their mind and are not separating PvE or PvP so PvE players are going to get hammered and griefed and hate the game and return it um, let's be honest, of course they are. And you can call them punks, you can call them weak, but I call it, look, this is also their world, and if they feel like they shouldn't have to be subject to, now you know, people are like, oh, well, gamers are entitled. Well, yeah, and I'm sorry to admit it, but I'm probably one of them who feels slightly entitled and not spend 60 to $80 on a game I'm not going to enjoy. I will return that shit before you can blink and spend my money on something I'll like better. If that makes me an entitled gamer, you can really fuck off with that. I care less. Um, to me, it's not about being an entitled gamer. It's about being somebody who gives a shit about what I'm doing what I'm playing. And I know I'm gonna get shit about it. I've already gotten into one small debate with it, one of my gamer friends. You know, who was like, oh dude, I can't wait for so many six and I'm like, yeah I can. And he was like, oh you're not pre-ordering it? And I'm like, no. Like after the creation club I'm not ordering a uh I'm not ordering any of them. Pre ordering. I feel like that was handled very poorly. Um, but furthermore, I just personally, I don't want to be in a world where I have to sit around and deal with some douchebag who has a rocket launcher and decides his big thing is to just going to be and see how hard he can mess my day up just to be a major douche rather than actually enjoying the game like I used to, enjoy the scenery, soak in the ambience of the runes of Fallout, 
Let's be honest, the best Fallout they made was Fallout New Vegas. And if some of you can challenge me on it. Now, I think the power armor in 4 is as canon as you're gonna get. It's the way to me power armor should have always operated and looked like a vehicle. Because it is a vehicle. Not a stupid suit of armor you put on that has the same stats as most armor. So I did applaud that. I think they got that right finally. So it's not all bad. There's a silver lining there. Do I think by any means that we're out of the woods yet with this? Everything now is a battleground and this and No, we're certainly not. Companies are scrambling to get money. And what happens with all this stuff? Money, 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 money. I need another battleground game pronto. Uh, I'm sure Bethesda saw this. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm very curious. Because I like the idea. Oh. Alright, then you don't get kobolds there. It's not hopping all around for this shit. They're Mari everyone. I am not excited about the fact that... And again, you can... You can... Pitch at me for pitching. That's fine. And you have that right, man. We're all gamers here. Or you're an observer. Who doesn't give a shit and doesn't know why I would even care. I care because to me, I feel like this is a nonsensical move. And an otherwise decent company who has just decided to make a misstep and won't correct it now. They could have easily corrected us by saying, look, we'll have something for Volk. Uh, even a, you know, oh, well, they're sniping you non-stop with a cooldown. But even a cooldown's not going to stop it, because if there's a team of six, the cooldown one, the other dude's already sniping you before the other one stops. It's the same issue that it, that happened with the Friday the 13th fiasco, and the massive bad reviews of gamers everywhere with that one. And there were massive bad reviews with that one. Uh, both about how the dev team handled things, and apparently they were banning people for not letting their friends, they had friends playing it, their friends were being assholes. People basically called them assholes, they threatened and said they know the dev team. Nobody believed them, but it in fact turned out, yes indeed, they knew the dev team. And suddenly, they were, uh, they were banned. So... I'm going to say flat out that's some bullshit and I do not support it. And if that gets me banned, it gets me banned. But fight me, you long neck bitches. The whole point is, at the end of the day, we as people have a right, a right, and I'll say it, we have a right, to demand more for our money than we're demanding. We are fucking muppets right now about this stuff. And that's something we shouldn't be doing. We should be demanding if we get a $60 game that it is bug free for those 60. That it is viable. It is good. Look, 60 bucks isn't a lot to some of you millennials for a game because mommy and daddy buy them. But to people like me that actually pay my own way for everything I do. And dude, I got a daughter, you know? I got I gotta look out for numero uno with this shit. I'm not willing to go and pay for more things just because it pleases somebody else. That's cute. Very very proud of you, very happy for you. But I personally am not willing to go and put that kind of time into this because I feel like it's frankly bullshit. Uh, so I need a chromatic metal. The chromatic metal I can get. First things first, let's get our ass back in there. Jesus. 
a fair way to my base. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. So this is what I was talking about, about the quick hop technology. Alright, so you hit space, you hit the stars. Slow it down. Slow it down. What you're gonna do there is hunt for what you're looking for. In my case, I'm looking for what? I'm looking for my base, right? So what we want to do here is fly some just about on top of her. Because I'll be honest, they're setting me up to never come back to this planet. And I don't want to waste a single damn resource. I'm clearly going to have to make my refiner again, which is a bunch of bullshit, but oh well. So I'll make a new refiner. And leave a little something for somebody else who comes here to enjoy. But I just went from spending an hour for 48 minutes worth of... Even with the other thing, it's still like 30 minutes or something. All the way down to this. So we land. Shit. We land. We land, we don't shit. We can shit. And we're going to pack up the base. I was thinking if I could pack the whole base up. Apparently I cannot. Um, I believe you can download other plans from Workshop, though, and share your base so that people can download the plan, blueprints, and make it, if I remember. So, if you start no shit, won't be no shit, son. So, other shit to know. I don't know what the hell to do with this thing, mean, it's literally just stuck. Great. That's where you're on, kiddo. It's about to be. It's okay. That's cute. But I want a base in a system that I like. And did I literally just destroy my whole base computer? I did, didn't I? Oh, for fuck's sake. Are you kidding me? Can you believe this shit? Helping potato? You see what I've done? suit. You dicks. I did. I did. Pretty soon here guys, we're going to call it a day for this one. As always, I do want to thank all of you for, uh, of course, being awesome. I know I have fans that grow slowly.
slowly, but you guys are still awesome fans. Uh, and you make me feel like I do not suck at the things I do when I'm sure I do. And it's so nice of you. So, I appreciate that shit. Uh, little side note now, we know for sure when you destroy your base, you better pick up all your shit around it. God, I have a bunch of stuff, eh? Uh, let's see what needs recharging while I'm at it here. I feel like this is an opportunity to make a fence for right. Um, and I actually named it the Painkiller after the Judas Priest song, so... In case you're wondering where the name comes from, that's where it comes from. And now we're gonna go here. Treat <laughs> Painkiller. Okay, and if I destroy them earlier, you douche. Alright, so... Back to the space station we go, people. While we're doing that, let me take a look at my launch thrusters. What is going on that I need for it? Yeah, I need what? I need uranium or I need Well it's better than the old Uranus chip, right? When you need Uranus. Alright. So all I need here is metal planing. I will say I like that recipes are a little harder now. Not necessarily harder, but just that there's more to them. It makes you feel better when you build something. You feel like you're actually doing shit in this game now, you know what I mean? So I personally enjoy that. Oh shit. I'm joking. I'm a titties. Now yes, I didn't hit the abandoned place. And after hyperdrive, before I hit hyperdrive, we will hit that abandoned building, and then uh, do the damn thing there, but for now, we are going to go to this base, buy the microchips if I can. Uh, if I don't got enough, I'll worry about the making money. Off screen, buy them, put them in, and land back on that planet for first round. And that will be it. There will be no ship buying, no new technology buying without you all, I promise. I might just explore that one last little station down there on the planet. Um, how they say to make money is pretty much how I made money, man. Pretty much just a grind. Uh, how much money do I got right now? Yeah, I'm not going to be able to buy any ships, so it's not even worth looking at. Honestly, like you guys think I'm fucking with you, but no chip is going to be cheap enough for me to buy. Um, drop pod locations are good. Sometimes you'll find random ships. I don't know if you still find random ships, but I am hoping. So let's take a look and buy some microprocessors. Now, as you see, I was searching my armor. It's no longer red or uh, no longer orange, it's blue and orange with a little green, and I'll show you that too before I go. I need to sell some serious shit here, guys. I'm basically looking at selling all this for in the first place, is that right now, the shit's... It's alright, but I got other shit I need to sell. So I'm guessing the ones that are all moved out here are either... Uh, switch my inventory, starship inventory. Uh, gold and silver. I have a microprocessor. I do not have a microprocessor. I must? I don't know. I don't have a column here. I don't I don't think I have one. Some of this is not right. 
Okay, so. You see my starship. I don't think I have all that on it. Maybe it's just showing me what I could have on it. I don't know. So we're going to start with you, go up and down the planet mining, and uh, keep going. So I'm not going to waste your own time with that, we will probably end it here. Let me first save it. Yeah, see, I was going to say, I know I don't try to put that weird shit on my starship. So this is what we're going to end up doing, probably a lot of my stuff is in here. We're going to go ahead and just transfer these to the starship. Where it belongs. Now we're going to go in here. And then have to go here. Alright, so. I am Bones. You have seen yet another exciting episode of uh, no Man's Sky in our series. I told you we do a proper series. These are long videos. So pause them, get snacks, get popcorn. Uh, give me your thoughts on them. I know that up there are the vendors, by the way, for both modules and blueprints. Um, my ship sucks. It still sucks. Maybe drop me if you play this. Drop me in the comments any tips for finding an abandoned ship on a planet. And are they worth that much more, or should I just try to actually buy one outright? I'm going to show you what I mean real quick before we call it quits here. Making this video even longer, probably irritating me. Now, I had one of these before. These are beautiful ships, and I tried buying the Red Dragon, but this was a ton of work to find. I think this is like a $7 million ship. Uh... Jesus, H2. Yeah, I mean, this is a big ship. You can see the hyperdrive range. They all come with different things on them as well. So if I had had the money, now watch this. <laughs> Do you see how much more money we're looking at? It's not three million. There's an extra number in front of that. The so ships have certainly gotten more expensive because my Red Dragon, maybe I just got a, a good deal on it. My Red Dragon, I shit you not, was I think anywhere between seven to 12,000 and had 46 slots and was a Class A uh, ship. If I remember right, it was still a hauler, but that sucker with the right stuff could tangle with just about any pirate, and it made me pretty well liked it. it, was a pretty badass thing. Now, we'll go ahead and look at this ship, which is a lot like mine, this is another little fighter. But I bet you any, mo any money, even this little sucker, baby, your lipstick is all over the place. You, you're a hot mess, girl. You can fix that shit. Uh, yeah, so you and they have like a good, right? We're on the same slot. Even with my trading, I couldn't buy theirs. So that is where I'm at, guys. So, you can see I got some nanite clusters I can spend, but I'm not spending them. No sir and or madam, or whatever you want to call yourself. Uh, pup, sexual, aardvark, sexual, I don't really give a shit, right? Let's be good people, man, that's all I care. Anyways, I'm bone, I need to get these pups out now. Get the video uploaded and re warm my coffee and have my coffee and all the good stuff. You guys enjoy your time. We got lots of games coming up. We got a few keys I'm hunting down trying for. We'll see how I do with them. And gaming companies, don't be afraid to give us smaller channels a chance. We'll do you right. Anyways, uh, yes, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you throw a like. Show me your tips playing No Man's Sky with this new update. Have you found starships to repair? How are they? Are they good? Do they suck? Let me know. Give me the skinny on starships. Uh, and also in the comments, let me know what you think. Has this company done good for redeeming itself? 
Let me know your thoughts on the new Vault 76. Let me know. Did I screw up by taking out what made it unique in the experience? Do you think I, uh, people like me are worrying too much and it's not going to be a constant great fest? That people will work together? Even though there's still PvP in there? The moment I see PvP in a game, I think Battlegrounds of some sort and I guess lose interest. That's why they're fun for that. If Rust has taught me anything, it's that people in a group are douchebags. People in the group on the internet, unstoppable douchebags, because there's no repercussions. So what's the repercussion going to be in a Fallout world that we all know and love? I can't even imagine ten griefers with Ghost Rifles charging down a hell Can you? Everyone crazy griefer with a great sniper rifle. You're going to have a bad day. Anyways, I'm Bones. Thank you guys so much for watching. No Man's Sky. Look for the next installment. We're going to keep the series going. Uh, in my opinion, it's finally good enough with updates to keep going. And you will see some Let's Play. Some people drop in and out. Uh, we'll get some friends together. I'm going to write them this evening and see if I can coordinate a full four-man team to join me and do stuff around the planets. I'm still learning the ropes and hyperdriving to my first area and uh, we'll, we'll see how they change the galactic map and all that. Really curious about that because it got a little confusing. We'll see if they fix that. Uh, so until next time, stay groovy, keep it cool, be nice to each other, and have a good day.